Hello YouTube and welcome back to my channel. I hope everyone has had a safe and happy holiday season and is ready for 2021. Today's unboxing and review is going to be on a pair of Saint Laurent shoes that I recently purchased and uh, my first actual purchase from Saint Laurent and I wanted to share it with you. The start is the box that they come in is phenomenally well made as far as shoe boxes go it's black and it has this almost woven appearance to it it's got a very large top lip and here you can see the tag these are the Saint Laurent Le Loafer uh, I wear a, usually a size 42 but in these like with the Christian Louboutins I had to go up to a 43 because they're a touch narrow um, and they were $695 here in the United States. Um, if you've never shopped in Saint Laurent, it's a unique experience. Um, they try to be very, very Parisian. Um, all the sales associates were all black. Uh, the store is primarily black and white. And Mira, it's, it's, it's a unique, unique experience. So I, I don't know what that silver marking is. I'm guessing it's something they wrote on in the store that's some sort of stock number or something of that nature. So. That's the box. Let me just remove this to the side. They come with, men's shoes at least, come with two dust bags. And these are wrinkled because my shoes were actually in them when I brought them home from the store. Um, these have got to be the absolute nicest dust bags that I have ever gotten with a pair of shoes. Um, they are, they're, um, I feel like a cottony blend material and they are super thick and they're actually lined uh, with this white, this feels like cotton, this white cotton liner, and they have a pull string on the side that's looped, it, so you, you don't have to uh, tie it off. And I've cinched it, and it's it's very it's very tight. And they say somewhere on on them, they're absolutely they're absolutely full of lint, but they're absolutely the nicest shoe bags. And I think these will quickly become the shoe bags I use when I travel, when I'm able to start traveling again. So, um, absolutely phenomenal. The shoes themselves are a take on the classic collegiate style penny loafers. I'm just going to do this so you can see them. And I'll pick one up and show it to you. So, the right shoe and the left shoe are slightly different, but there you go. The side, you can see, it's got the pleated work at the top seam. On the right shoe, in black metal, it says YSL. Hopefully you guys can see that. And that's only on the right shoe. Um, the heel is not very high, which I really like. Some of the shoes, Ben shoes now, the loafers, especially the Gucci, are coming with these phenomenally high heels, in, in my opinion. Not, not really what I like. On the back, it's stamped Saint Laurent. And that's a little leather kind of tab that comes down center seam in the back. The soles are half rubber on the heel. Then you have 12 studs and the heel has this little notch. That's not a defect. That's actually supposed to be there. It's a heel notch. And then it has the tracking and the sole is in this beautiful black. Um, you can see my reflection there. Oh, I'm sorry. There you go. This beautiful black kind of paint that they use on the bottom of the soles. That'll wear. The one thing about the soles that I'm not happy with, and it's very minor, is that the Saint Laurent is step, stamped a little far forward, and in doing so, that will probably wear. It would have been nicer if it was behind the actual size, and you can see these made in Italy, so it's pretty good. If it was stamped back here, um, it probably would have lasted, but that's so minor. Uh, the stitching on the side of the loafers, by the way, is the, the rolled style, or some people call this a knot style. Some loafers, this is smooth, and it's stitched on the bottom and the top, and then others have this kind of roll of leather that, go over, that goes over the side piece. So, and uh, not that anyone does this anymore, but you wouldn't put a, any sort of coin in here because it goes straight through, but it is really nice. It's really the closest I've seen to like the penny loafers that I used to wear in college in a long time, which is why I really like them. Uh, the left one, as I mentioned, has no YSL badging on the strap, but does have it on the back heel. 
And one of the things I liked about these, and I wasn't sure if I was going to like them when I first saw them online, and I did get these in a boutique, but um, I didn't know if it was going to be too understated. And then I saw them and I was absolutely over the moon with them. Um, it says Saint Laurent in gold on the liner, and the inside of the shoe is black. And it's, it's a lined shoe, so it's black leather on the inside, which is a really, really nice touch. Um, as far as the stitching, these are obviously, you know, handmade. The stitching is absolutely beautiful. The fit and finish on them is you know, really, really nice. Um, they wear, like I said, they wear a little small. I had to go up half a size. And on the foot, they appear very small. And part of the reason why is that this part of the shoe is not very long. So it sits kind of far down on your foot, and it gives the appearance of a much, much smaller size. As far as the leather, the leather is buttery and very, very, very soft, um, but not without structure. And they're not highly polished, and I'm unsure if I'm really going to have them highly polished. They're kind of muted, and they kind of have this deep kind of glow to them, which I find really understated and really really attractive unlike you know some of the other loafers that i have especially my christian louboutins they're very very shiny they're they they're not patent leather but they've been mistaken for that on occasion so these are my new christian louboutin no i'm sorry <laughs> wow these are my new saint laurent lay loafer in size 43 um i hope you've enjoyed this video and I'll hope you'll like and share. And if you haven't subscribed, that would be great. I want to say thank you. I'm up over 150 subscribers and it's absolutely um, unbelievable. But anyway, thank you all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, as always, let's keep the comments positive. I'm not a professional YouTuber. I do this just for fun and just to share stuff that I own. So I hope you all enjoyed this video. I hope you all have a great rest of 2020 and that 2021 comes in just phenomenal. Thanks very much.